Hi guys, how are you? I am Kira from Makeup Wearables, and today we're doing 15 hair hacks. Did you guys know a French twist is literally the hardest hairstyle you can do on yourself? But here's a hack that you can do with chopsticks. Make a loose ponytail around your ear level. Now take two chopsticks or pencils, but it has to be long, okay? And insert one into the ponytail and place the other one outside of the ponytail, just like this. Now hold onto the chopsticks with your right hand and pull on the elastic band with the other. And then we're going to roll the hair with the chopstick towards the center of our head. Next, hold the chopstick with your left hand. And with your right hand, grab the ends and tuck it into the roll before pinning everything in place. And you got yourself a very chic French twist. And hair hack number two. Did you guys know olive oil from your kitchen works just as well as a hair serum? And my favorite kind for this hack is Pam, the one that's that superior non-stick olive oil. So next time you're at the supermarket, just spray some on your hands to check this one out. Did you guys know I have hair loss for women? In some months, it gets pretty bad. And right now, it's pretty horrible as you can see with my roots here. So what I want to show you is how to make your hair look thicker with hair coloring powder. So this is not eyeshadows or eyebrow powders like other people are using because hair coloring powders tend to be more pigmented and more water resistant. This product from Jonathan totally sucks balls for what it's intended for, which is covering gray hair. But it's the best thing ever and my favorite way to make my hair look thicker. And if you're wondering if this is permanent, it's not. It's just like using eyeshadows. And you guys could also use the same method to make your hairline seem thicker for updos or ponytails. Now about this annoying flyaways or baby hairs or regrowth in my case, I find that using an old mascara wand with hairspray works even better than toothbrushes because the gaps between the bristles are spaced apart wider. This just means that the wand will grab more hair with less effort so you don't end up killing any volume as you clean up your hairline or your part and you can also clean up your curls individually. And hair hack number six. Did you guys know you can use vinegar to remove buildup from your hair instead of baking soda, which I find more drying? So once a month, I first shampoo my hair, and right now I'm using the Carol Starter shampoo and conditioners. I then towel dry, then apply the vinegar and water mixture all over my head, and then five minutes later, I rinse this off and apply my deep hair mask. Right now, I use the Ovation Cell Therapy for my scalp and Carol Stoddard's conditioner for my ends. And I won't let this moment pass us by. Hair hack number seven. Did you guys know you can use foils to make bendy rollers at home? You can make them as thick or as thin as you like. Cut out a slice of foil, roll it up into a bendy shape, wrap your hair around it, and then tuck the ends over itself like just like any bendy rollers. It works just as well, and you get curls just as pretty as bendy rollers create. Hair hack number eight. Preheating your round brush before using it on your hair will make styling so much faster. When your hair is really dirty but you don't have time to shower, what you can do is wash just the crown, blow dry, and then set your hair with some toilet paper roll rollers. You can then blast hot air on the toilet paper rolls if you want curls. But since I'm wearing my hair straight, I'm only going to heat it up slightly before doing my makeup. Once you remove everything, finish it off with some dry shampoo and you're good to go. The problem with having straight hair is that when we put our hair up, it's always flat. To create volume without teasing or using a crimper, you can also just curl the roots with a curling iron. And I'm going to use the half an inch curling iron here to create resistance. As you can see here, this method creates crazy volume, so I only use this for when I do fancy updos or fancy ponytails. There's a tutorial for fishtail braids and a reverse fishtail braid. But you only need to learn one way because all you need to do to get a reverse fishtail braid look is to flip it inside out like this. And now you have a reverse fishtail braid look. 
But if you guys can't figure out how to do a fishtail braids, no matter what you do, here's a hack I made up for you two years ago. You're going to split your hair into two sections and then insert your index finger to the sides so you can grab the opposite strand and you just repeat. Poke your fingers through the sides, grab the opposite strand and win. And speaking of hair hacks I already showed you how to do, this is for new people who hasn't subscribed. You should be subscribing right now. Grab some hair on your crown and make a normal braid before tying the ends. And then, we're gonna take small sections and loop it through the braid one by one. And here's the food tutorial if you guys want to go check it out later. Oh yeah, we could fly so high. And hair hack number 14. Did you guys know you can dip your hair into a 3% hydrogen peroxide and go to the beach or blow dry it to get ombre highlights? Here's how you can contour your neck to get a slimmer and graceful looking neck for updos or whatever. For everyday use, adding just a line of white to the center will automatically and naturally make your hair, I mean not hair, your neck look simple. However, for pictures, you'll want to add a dark line next to it and you'll apply this to where you feel a depression on your neck. The area where you feel your skin, not your skin, your scalp going inwards is where you're going to draw the line from. Oh yeah, we could fly so high And here's the before and after. And we're done. Let me know your favorite hair hack from today in the comment section. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Makeup Wearable Hairstyles. If you guys like these hair hack videos, I'll do more of these. Or if you guys want me to do more hair tutorials, then I'll do more hair tutorials. See you guys next week. Bye!